Well, it's a great day at FM Review because I have a brand new television to unbox, set up, and review. Here I have a 32 inch television made by Element. The model number is ELEFW328. The front of the box indicates that this has three HDMI connections and a PC input. The television will actually sit upon itself without having the stand attached to it. Here's what all comes in the box. You have the stand's bottom and you have this piece that connects the television to the stand. You have the owner's manual, the remote control, and some batteries. The stand comes with this protective clear plastic cover that I'm fixing to remove. Once I remove the protective cover from the stand, I can tell that this has a high gloss finish with a little dull black strip going through the middle. And I see where this connects. And on the very bottom you've got four screw holes to secure this. and the screws are included inside the bag with the remote and the owner's manual. It's a very basic remote control. You can control the volume up and down, the channel up and down, as well as DVD or Blu-ray players. The remote is powered by two AAA batteries. Here's a view of the remote control up close. Again, it's powered by two AAA batteries and it's very basic. However, it has all the buttons that you would need to function the television and a standalone DVD player or Blu-ray player. It is not backlit. Included with this television are eight screws that attach the base to the television in order to assemble the stand and these are all Phillips screwdriver bits. Now I have the base assembled and installed on the television and you can see that it sits pretty sturdy. However, this does not swivel, tilt, or move in any way. All it does is raises the height up for this television. Here's a close-up of the back of the television where you have all your connection ports. You have USB at the top. You have your cable digital television connection. You've got your PC connection and your audio for PC connection. You have a port for HDMI. Another port for HDMI. Here's a view of the connections on the side and you can see that it's USB, VGA, and HDMI connections. On the other side you have your hard buttons for power, volume, menu, and source. So it's easy to use if you don't have a remote for it. You have a third HDMI connection and your component video connection with a headphone input. And I'll back away and you can see where the speakers are at. And this actually acts as a stand if you would like to sit it down without using the stand itself because it's big enough to where it can support the weight of the television. However, it's sitting flat and you don't have the option to tilt it. Here you have the Element Electronics home screen and you have a setup wizard that says choose your picture mode. Do you want home mode with energy saving features or do you want standard mode? I'm going to go with standard mode. And you can use the remote with the directional buttons to make this choice. Setup wizard says are you sure you want standard mode? I'll select yes. Now you have your menu language and defaults to English. Your air cable is set to cable. I'm going to change that to air. I don't have anything set up to it and you can go with auto scan. 
So I'll let that go ahead and do some scanning, see if it picks up any of the over-the-air HD channels. After many long hours of scanning and a couple six packs of coke, that is finished and now we have a menu that bounces around the screen saying please run channel auto scan. So what I'm going to do is just press the menu button on the remote and let you look at the menu of this television. First thing you have is the picture. Below that you have audio, time, setup, lock, and channel. With the picture you have different picture modes and some different elements of that that you can change. It defaults to dynamic but you also have movie mode, energy saving mode, natural mode, and a user mode where you can customize what you want. And you have a standard mode. Then back to dynamic. At the bottom it says blue screen on or you can turn it off and make it a black screen. So you do have those options to customize what that menu screen looks like. And you have your color temp, normal, warm, cool or normal. That's pretty much everything you have to control the picture with. I'll press the menu button to return and I'll go back to the audio settings. And you have sound modes. This is standard. You have a music mode, a movie mode, and a user mode. For now I'll leave it at standard. You also have surround sound option. You can turn it on or off. I'll, leave, I'll turn that on and you have an auto volume. So those are the different things you can adjust for the sound. Now you have your time and you have your sleep timer. You can have it set for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 120 minutes, 180 minutes, 240 minutes, or you can have it turned off. And you can select your time zone. It defaults to Pacific, but I am in Central. And you do have an option for Daylight Savings Time. I'll go back to the main menu and go down to Setup. You have your menu language, which is English. You have your Transparency, and it's turned to Off by default. But you can turn it on, and it almost turns it a pastel purple color. I like it better off. Zoom mode you have standard, wide, wide zoom, zoom, and standard. I'm going to leave that where it's at. Noise reduction you have it set to the middle by default. You can change it to strong, off, weak, or middle. So I'll leave it there. You do have the option for closed caption. DLC is set to be on and you have a choice to restore to your default. You have an area where you can lock and enter a password, but I'm not going to do any of that. And then you have your channel where it scans for cable or over-the-air channels. <clears throat> now that the television is unboxed and set up, it's time to kick back, enjoy a few Cokes, and watch some television. I've been using this television for two weeks now and I've hooked it up to multiple high definition sources including my Blu-ray player, Xbox, and high definition cable box. The picture quality is great, it's crystal clear, and the color reproduction is spot on. I would recommend this for anyone looking for a high quality budget television. I'll be doing a video cut. How many screws is in here?